for this beautiful view of Dubai Marina. We only paid $160. Let's give you a full room tour so you can decide whether you want to stay in this hotel or not. So let's give you a full tour of this uh, hotel room. It comes with a full-on kitchen. There are uh, plates and pots and pans here, you know, as well as I think anything you need to cook. You just gotta bring your own groceries, a stove, microwave, fridge. They do give you a free water bottle here. Here is a view of the living room area. Have your table, a plant, actually a nice touch. You don't see those in hotels. Um, you have your TV, a place for storage, a sofa bed for the kids, and a luggage rack. White lights, I actually don't like them. Uh, we use uh, yellow, uh, so just something to point out, keep that in mind. It has a more apartment feel here. Here's a bathroom. They do give you amenities like your toiletries, your lotions and shampoos and shower gels and kits and shaving kits. Uh, and whatnot. There, there's also a dental kit here as well. So a nice, I would say, fairly renovated um, bathroom with a stand-in shower, no tub, uh, for the room that we got. Then you come into the bedroom area. We'll show you guys uh, this room in a little bit of daylight so you guys can have a better idea. We actually recorded this whole thing and then realized none of our sound got recorded. So we wanted to show you with some live sound. There is some closet here. So a lot of space. This hotel kind of reminds me of a place where you want to come and stay for a few weeks. Your ironing board, your iron, a safe, and your slippers here as well. Here's your second water bottle. Again, with the sign, it's complimentary your drawer, a lot of electrical outlets. Uh, they did leave a box of chocolate here on the bed with compliments. It's like little touches like these that explains how uh, Royal Regency Suites has a 9.0 rating on booking.com. We got this hotel for $160 um, a night in, in Dubai Marina. I think it's a pretty um, decent deal. Now, if you do come here, expecting you're gonna get this nice hotel feel. It's not a chain hotel, so you may not get that feel. It has a little bit of apartment vibe going, you know, with the life plants and the white lights and stuff, so keep that in mind. Ali, I was just telling them, we actually made a whole tour of this place <laughs> with no sound. The mic wasn't properly plugged in. So we can actually drop some footage of daylight as we were walking around because now it's nighttime, so you can't really see. But one of the best things about this hotel is the balcony. So here is the oh, balcony wow. at night, and I think oh my god this is amazing i think the reason you booked this place is this view we did pay five dollars more for a room with a marina view you can also get a view looking the other side which um, on the booking.com site i noticed was a view of the road but we wanted a marina view so make sure you scroll down with room options and pick a marina view room they also have a dining menu. Uh, it's open from 11 o'clock. Uh, you can check out the menu prices here. Kids meal are about 30. Fruit corners about 48. And some of the big dis dishes like pasta is about 60. So I would say fairly reasonable, but they do close at 10 o'clock. It's a restaurant um, right here inside the hotel. I think this is a good place for $160 a night. Yep. Plus it validates the the rating that it got which is nine out of a ten on booking.com 
do come here knowing that this is what you're going to get. If you're thinking of a hotel feel, that consistent Hyatt or Marriott feel, you're not going to get that here. It does have an apartment feel. There's only a few rooms uh, in on each floor. Uh, I think this is where we are. There are balconies on uh, the corner rooms. There's 26th floor in this building, but we're on 18th floor. Now on our way out, we're also going to show you the hallway view, the elevator, and the lobby. So this is the hallway. Some room says premium and sub says super premium. Again, the staff is really, really helpful here. Thanks so much. This is your elevator. The whole place smells like... Even the parking lot smells nice. It smells like flowers. It smells like flowers, yeah. yeah. So the hotel has 25 floors. It has a swimming pool on third floor, a gym and a restaurant on the first floor. Laundry on G floor, and that's for reception as well. This is your lobby. It's a pretty small lobby, but a couple of sofas here, and that's your reception desk. So we're gonna head out. Uh, they have a couple of benches and chairs right in front, and we're gonna show you. There's a few restaurants and stuff on the side. So they have a Oco restaurant right underneath the hotel. The Oco Lounge. And you can see the hotel tower up top. Okay, so from the tower, you come down, uh, we parked our car, and then the nice gentleman told us that the marina is right down here. So let's go for a walk, show you guys around the marina, and uh, give you guys another reason for you know, picking our hotel as an option when you come to Dubai. So that's the walkway. And then you come here and check this place out. On this direction is Address Dubai Marina. Um, then on the other side is City Premier, La Verda. Look at the yacht going with party music playing. Okay, this definitely has Miami vibes. Wish we had like two more hours uh, of walk time here. You can easily budget three to four hour here if you want to come here, eat, chill, relax, walk. It's the complete opposite of uh, being in Dubai Mall. You can check out that quick episode of us trying uh, different fast foods that we don't get to try in uh, New York. But if we hadn't done that, we would have like walked all around this. You can go back to JBR neighborhood, you can walk through this whole marina. It's just such a nice vibe here. Back in 2015, uh, we stayed in Graviner House. Uh, it was a beautiful hotel room. I think we had a butler. It was a $2,500 a night hotel room we just got upgraded into. But I was so sick. I got food poisoning. I got so sick. I was unable to leave. Uh, we stayed at Medan, Emirates Towers and Oberoi. My favorite from a service per, uh, perspective was Oberoi. From a balcony view perspective was Medan because we woke up in the morning and that's the hotel that's uh, built around a horse race course and so you can wake up at 5 a.m. and see uh, horses racing. So that was pretty cool. My favorite was of course the Emirates Towers. Emirates Towers and each of those hotels, the buffet breakfast was incredible Unbelievable. so we have stayed in quite a few really nice i would say uh, some of the best hotels in dubai probably not some of the most expensive rooms but some of the best hotels in dubai and so we have a little bit of experience in staying in dubai but we have never paid more than 200 dollars a night and so finding a room right here for 161 dollars was actually a very good deal uh, especially on a last minute like um, us arriving at the airport today and we were standing in immigration line looking for a hotel room real quick and, and booking it. So hope you guys enjoyed uh, this quick uh, tour of Royal Regency Suites Marina and you can decide if you want to come stay here, you get access to this without heading out. It's midnight, we have a flight early in the morning to catch but we're going to make a whole episode on Dubai Airport and, and walking around it. Catch you guys in the next one. 
Bye for now. Very comfortable pillows um, uh, were comfortable as well. This is uh, the next morning. We are heading out to the airport, but thought to show you guys what the view looks like from our hotel. Oh yeah, that's Sheikh Zayed Road. And here is uh, our living room. It's in used condition. We wouldn't have known how to make this bed because we're used to the pull-out bed, but all they did was slide it out the sofa and put a sheet over it. Kiz and Isa, were the bed, was the bed comfortable? Yes. I wish we had like another day where we could just walk and explore this and JBR right behind it. You can see the ocean right through, yeah, right through that building there. Wish we had more time, right guys? 90% of the visitors or the, uh, their customers are Russians who come and stay here. So that's an interesting fact because I noticed in the TV, like at least six, seven of the channels were um, Russian channels.